Hello, you're watching Newsday from London and Singapore. I'm Sharon Jeet Lale. The headlines. Live from our studios in London and Singapore. This is BBC World News. It's Newsday. Hello, it's midnight here in London, 8 in the morning in Singapore and 7 p.m. in Washington, where one of President Trump's longest-serving aides, Hope Hicks, has resigned. The announcement came a day after the 29-year-old was questioned by the House Intelligence Committee investigating Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. The White House has denied any links between her giving evidence at that hearing and this decision. Here's the BBC's Chris Buckler explaining what this means for the Trump administration. The European Commission published its first draft of the official treaty for Brexit today. It included proposals for a common regulatory area on the island of Ireland, which would effectively mean keeping Northern Ireland in a customs union, unlike the rest of the UK. Now, Prime Minister Theresa May said the idea would never be agreed to and it threatened the constitutional integrity of the UK. The BBC's Rob Watson reports. Now, the Afghan Army's Officer Training Academy in Kabul is known as the Sandhurst in the sand because it's modelled on its prestigious British counterpart, the Royal Military Training Academy. Now, it's seen an increasing number of Afghan women sign up over the past few years, and now one has become the first female officer to be sent for further training in Sandhurst in the UK. Here's her story. You're watching Newsday from London and Singapore. I'm Sharon Jeet Lail, the headline. It's 1 a.m. in London, 9 in the morning in Singapore and 8 p.m. in Washington, where one of President Trump's longest-serving aides, Hope Hicks, has resigned. The announcement came a day after the 29-year-old was questioned by the House Intelligence Committee investigating Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. Now, the White House has denied any links between her giving evidence at that hearing and this decision. Here's the BBC's uh, Chris Buckler explaining what this means for the Trump administration. Eric Ham speaking there to Mariko earlier. Now, the European Commission published its uh, first draft of the official treaty for Brexit today. It included proposals for a common regulatory area on the island of Ireland, which would effectively mean keeping Northern Ireland in a customs union, unlike the rest of the UK. Now, Prime Minister Theresa May said the idea would never be agreed to, and it threatened the constitutional integrity of the UK. The BBC's Rob Watson has more. Now, the funeral of Indian actress Sri Devi has taken place in Mumbai. Many Bollywood A-listers joined mourners and thousands of fans lined the streets. An autopsy found the 54-year-old drowned in a bath after losing consciousness. Samir Hashmi reports from Mumbai. Samalia with her story there. Now, Meghan Markle joined Prince Harry and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge for their first official engagement together. They were presenting the future work of their personal charitable organisation. It's called the Royal Foundation, which uh, Miss Markle will officially join after her marriage to Prince Harry in May. Well, our royal correspondent, Nicholas Witchell, has more. <laughs> 